Today we're going to crochet Sir Squeak, this adorable amigurumi mouse. The free written pattern is available on my blog, but if you want a printable version with photo references, there's a PDF pattern linked in the description box. Thanks in advance for supporting me as a designer. Now let's go ahead and crochet this quick and easy no-sew mouse. Let's go over the materials. For yarn, I am using super bulky weight Chanel Velvet here. This is Hobby's Honey Bunny yarn. I also am using a 5mm hook to go with the yarn. You'll need a yarn needle, scissors, some stuffing, and 12mm plastic safety eyes. Let's go ahead and get started. For round one of the head and body, we're going to be starting from the tip of the nose, working our way to the back. So you're going to begin round one with two chains. Here's my slip knot to start my chain. And one chain, two chains. Then you're going to insert five single crochets into the second chain from your hook. So going back, here's that second chain from the hook. And I'm just going to go in and put in five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you're going to increase all the way around for round two. So going into that first stitch, I'm going to insert two single crochets. Then I'm going into the second stitch, again inserting two single crochets. Continue increasing in the third stitch. Increase in the fourth stitch, putting in two single crochets in each stitch here. And increase in that last stitch. After you have increased all the way around, you should have a circle of, of, of 10 stitches. Now we're going to move on to round three. For round three, we're going to single crochet and increase all the way around. What I'm going to do is add a scrap piece of yarn to mark my place so I can see where the start of my round is. You can use a stitch marker for that, but if you are cheap and lazy like me, just use a yarn scrap. All right, so I've got it in there, and now I'm going to start round three with single crochet and an increase in that next stitch. Repeat that around, so single crochet and increase. Continue on, single crochet increase, single crochet, increase, and last repetition here, single crochet, and increase in that very last stitch. There we have it. That's round number three. For round four, we are going to do um, another set of increases. We're going to single crochet two and then increase all the way around. Here's what it'll look like. Single crochet one, single crochet two, and increase in that next one. Let's repeat. Single crochet one, single crochet two, and then increase. Single crochet one, single crochet two, and increase. Single crochet one, single crochet two, increase. And then we've got our last set here. Single crochet one, single crochet two, and increase. That's that for round number four. For round number five, what you'll do is simply single crochet all the way around. We're not going to increase or decrease. We're just going to work around. And I'm moving my stitch marker up a bit so that it's easier to see. 
where the end is. But here I am just adding single crochets in each stitch around. After you have finished round five, you're ready to go to round six. For round six, we're just going to increase twice here. You're going to single crochet nine and then increase, single crochet nine and increase. That'll give you a total of 22 stitches when you are finished with the round. Let's go ahead and start. So single crochet one, two, three, oops, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then I'm going to increase in this next stitch. Like so. And let's repeat that around again. We're going to single crochet nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And in that last stitch, I'm just going to add an increase, putting two single crochets in the same stitch. That's that for round number six. For round seven, you're just going to single crochet all the way around, um, no increasing or decreasing. Alright, here I am finished with round seven, single crocheting all the way around. For round eight, we're going to do a little bit of increasing again. You're going to single crochet 10, increase, single crochet 10, and increase. That'll give you a total of 24 stitches in the end. Let me show you this first repetition. We're going to single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then in that next stitch, I'm going to increase. Let's keep going. Single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I'm going to increase in that last stitch, like so. Here we go. All right. And at this point, we are going to pause to crochet the ears because this way we can keep the yarn ends inside of the head and tie them into a secure knot, keeping them from um, coming loose. So what you'll do is find um, where you want to the ears to go under a stitch in round five. I'm going to count back here. One, two, three, four, five. So this round is where I want to put the ears. So for instance, if I stick my um, hook here, um, I want them to the sides and I kind of want the bottom. See where my the start of my round is with the scrap yarn? I like the start of my round to be at the bottom of the amigurumi. So I'm just going to stick my hook into a stitch in round five to the side. This will be the top of the head. And now I'm going to pull through some white yarn that I'm going to use for the ears. All right. Start with a little bit of a tail because you're going to pull that yarn end in to tie um, securely. And what you're going to do is attach that yarn like so. Chain two. By the way, um, there's an option in the written pattern. If you do not want such floppy ears and you want sturdy ears, you are going to crochet into the 
fifth stitch or the stitch from the body directly instead of in the chain. So crocheting directly into the stitch in the body is going to make it nice and sturdy. But I do like the floppy looking ears because I think it's rather cute. <laughs> and then in the second chain from the hook, you're going to insert a half double crochet So, and then insert a double crochet and then two triple crochets. Triple crochet would be yarning over twice. Insert your hook, pull through a loop, then we're going to yarn over, go through two loops at a time, two loops at a time, and the last two loops. And I'm going to do that again. Here's my second triple crochet. Then you're going to insert a double crochet, a half double crochet, and a slip stitch. All right. Once you've done that, Once you've done that, you can go ahead and fasten off with a tail and you're going to pull both the starting and ending yarn tails into the body. And so let me show you how that works. Let's go ahead and fasten off and let's pull that starting and ending yarn tail right inside. And I'm going to tie those two loose ends. Here's the starting and ending yarn tails. I'm just going to tie them in a very secure knot inside the body here to keep them from coming undone. It's much better to, weave, um, to do this method as opposed to weaving in the ends because this, um, this yarn color is different from the body. So you can't make, you can't really weave the white through the gray and pulling them inside isn't enough to keep them secure without tying them. So there you have it. There's one little ear. And now for the second ear, I'm also, I'm going to repeat these same instructions, insert my hook into um, a stitch in round five. So counting down here, that's one, two, three, four, five. And I'll want to kind of see where I want the ears to go. I like them to be um, balancing each other out. Maybe around here would be good. All right. And I'm going to repeat instructions here. Attach that yarn. Chain two. Half double crochet into that second chain from the hook. Double crochet. Triple crochet. Remember that's yarn over twice. And then one, two, three. And let's do that triple crochet again. Yarn over twice. One, two, Three. Then we're going to double crochet. One and two. Then it's a half double crochet. And a slip stitch. And you're going to want to fasten off with a long tail that you're going to use for tying. So I'm just pulling that yarn tail into my mouse's body here. Let's tug on that starting yarn tail, make sure the stitches are nice and tight and pulling that in as well. There 
There you have it. You see the two little ears are done. Don't forget to tie your yarn tails together. And once you finish tying, you can continue on with um, the next part. All right. Now, at this point, um, you can go ahead and also attach the plastic safety eyes. Um, I am using some 12 millimeter solid black eyes here, and I'm going to put them between rounds three and rounds four. Counting back, that's one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four right in between. All right. And after you are satisfied with the placement, um, by the way, I used 12 millimeter eyes here and they look a little bit big. So I am actually going to see if 10 millimeter eyes look better. You know, I kind of like these smaller eyes better, so I'm going to go with the 10 millimeter eyes and you're just going to attach the backings to secure them. After you've attached the eyes and um, added the ears to your mouse, it's time to keep working along. For rounds number 9 to 10, all you are going to do is to single crochet around. So you're adding one single crochet in each stitch without increasing or decreasing. Let's go ahead and meet back at the end of round 10. Here I am with round 10 complete. For round 11, you're just going to do some decreases here. You're going to single crochet and decrease all the way around and that'll happen eight times so let's do a few repetitions together single crochet and decrease we're going to single crochet these two stitches together as a decrease then single crochet and then decrease continue on single crochet decrease and all the way around. All right, now that we have reached the end here, um, we're going to stuff the mouse. We're almost done with the body. Go ahead and add some fiber fill stuffing, uh, making sure it's stuffed all the way to the tip of its nose. And when you're stuffing, do be careful not to stretch your stitches too much so that um, your piece does not have any gaps between the stitches. When you are all done going all the way around with a total of eight stitches at the end, you can go ahead and add the last bit of stuffing if you want. And then you're going to finish off with um, a long yarn tail that you are going to use for sewing the little opening up. I like to wait until I finish the tail of my mouse before I sew up the opening. This way I can tie the two yarn tail ends for the tail. All right, so here's how the mouse is looking so far. I love its floppy ears. 
The tail is super easy. You're gonna find where the back of your mouse is, the center back. So going down between the ears and the eyes, here's the center. And you're gonna find that center stitch in round 12, which is the very last round you made. So about here would be the center of my mouse's back. And I'm going to attach yarn to that stitch. That's where the tail will go. When you attach yarn, have a bit of a yarn tail in the beginning so that you can pull it in and tie it with the ending yarn tail later. You're going to chain 11. That was one chain. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then you're going to insert your hook into the second chain from your hook and you're going to make a slip stitch like so. Then go down in each chain to make a slip stitch. As you slip stitch along, you're making your tail um, a little sturdier. And we're just going to go all the way back to the start of our chain here. Then, when you finish off, you're going to finish off with a yarn tail. And that yarn tail is going to be pulled into the body. So let's grab that starting yarn tail. And I'm also going to grab the ending yarn tail. There we go. And I'm going to tie, um, you'll see these are the starting and ending yarn tails for the tail that you just made. And you can go ahead and tie them securely inside to keep them from coming out. Like so. All right, that's that for the tail. And at the very end, you're going to take the, um, last, sorry, the ending yarn tail here from the body and a yarn needle. And I'm just going to thread my yarn needle. And the way I like to um, close up the hole is by going through the front loops only. And I'm going to put a running stitch through. So insert um, the needle into the first um, front loop going in and then going out of the next front loop. Let's keep this lax for now. We're going to pull it tight in the end. In and out the next front loop. In and out the next front loop. In and out in and out. And at the very end, I'm going to pull tight and you'll see that opening cinch up. And that's that for the um, finishing. It's so easy because this mouse is completely no sew. So you really just, um, in terms of parts, you really just need to sew up the opening of the hole. And I'm just weaving my yarn tail in through a few stitches of the mouse so that I can keep it um, hidden inside the mouse's body without coming loose. When I'm ready, I give my yarn um, a little tug, snip it off, and squish the amigurumi to let that tail slip back in. All right, and that's that for your little mouse amigurumi. Here is my new Sir Squeak. I love his little ears <laughs> and his little tail. And he looks like a raindrop. 
You can add some embroidery to your mouse if you'd like. Give him some pretty flowers, um, some beads. Give it um, little bobble stitch arms or legs if you so please. Or you can add in some eye whites by sewing or embroidering um, with white yarn to the side of the eyes. You can also give him a little nose if you'd like. Thank you for crocheting this project with me. You can make Sir Squeak in all sorts of colors, like this one is in a dark gray and lighter gray ears. And you can decorate your Sir Squeak however you'd like. Hope you can make an army of little mice. Happy crafting! Bye now!